Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to 3D Society. I'm Rudy and in today's video I want to show you a new exciting feature in Xtreme PBR add-on from Nexus. But before we start I want to ask you a favor. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you like this kind of content subscribe to the channel. Your support means a lot to me. Also I want to mention that I'm using Xtreme PBR to simplify the process of creating 3D materials. It has been a game-changing add-on for my workflow and I managed to secure small discount for my viewers. You can find the link in the description below this video and the discount code is 3D Society 10 altogether. Throughout this video you will see screencast keys so you can easily follow along. Alright, so let's get into today's video subject Anti-Tile System in Xtreme PBR Nexus. This feature helps to fix the problem of things looking too similar in texture-based materials, especially on big areas like landscapes, terrains and stuff like this. So let me show you how to work with anti-tile system in Xtreme PBR Nexus. Okay, here I am in Blender and I want to prepare my scene. So first of all, I will select all, delete all the default stuff, import a plane, scale it 50 times. So it's big enough so we can see the difference. It's pretty dark right now, so I will give the scene some lighting with HDRI. We can do that here in the world properties. Click the little circle next to color, environment texture, and I will search for some nice HDRI on my hard drive. Let's say this one is nice, open image, and now the scene is lighted with HDRI. You can find a lot of amazing free HDRIs on polyheaven.com. One more thing I like to do is to make the HDRI transparent. So it's not disturbing me from modeling. It still casts the lights on the scene, but I cannot see it and it's not rendered as well. Okay, so now I need to apply material on this uh, plane. With Xtreme PBR, it's really simple. I just click N to show this, this little panel here. Click on Xtreme PBR and here in Shader Maker, I will open the library of materials we have uh, with Xtreme PBR. And since we are working on large environment, let's check out vegetation. Oh yeah, nice. Look, this moss 001 seems okay for this. And all I have to do is add new. And here we are. Looks nice, but we need to scale it down. The easiest way is here in Material Editor and Scale Uniform, uh, scale it a lot, let's say like this. And while I was scaling the material, we could start seeing the problem here. The texture just keep repeating the same pattern over and over again. And this is a huge problem because it doesn't look natural. Fortunately, the new version of Xtreme PBR has a solution for this. And it's this little checkbox here. So I click it and as you can see by enabling this feature, the tile effect completely disappears, instantly enhancing the realism of my material. Now there is this random option, which is great if you want to quickly randomize the anti-tile system. However, with the new popover menu, we can further customize it. We can adjust the hue to create patchy areas with slightly different color shades. We can control the range using minimum and maximum values and play with exposure to achieve darker or lighter patches. If you are working on a larger terrain, you have the flexibility to resize the patches, making it look, look even more realistic with this color var scale. All right, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, the anti-tile system seamlessly integrates with the Xtreme PBR FX layer system allowing you to mix different terrains together and create stunning landscapes with minimal repetition. I encourage you to play with the settings to get feel of this option because it's amazing. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen, we are at the end of today's video. If you found this information helpful, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more 3D modeling content. And remember, you can find the link to Xtreme PBR add-on with special discount in the description below. Thank you for watching, I really appreciate your support and see you in the next video. Happy modeling!